about being uh, a member, a member of the Information Society? That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blue Snot channel. Today I am back with another Sports Talk Series episode. It's episode number 51 and today it is a special Thursday night edition of Derby Day as I'm about to head to San Francisco to watch the second annual SF Derby between SF Glens versus SF City in the PDL. Now this is actually the last game for both of these teams in the PDL this season and both of these teams unfortunately are not going to be making the playoffs because they are currently bottom of the table that is both of these teams but certainly this is a game that I'm pretty sure both of them will, will still play in a very intense way because this is certainly a derby game and certainly the pride of winning a derby for both of these teams is going to be very very crucial so yeah it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen tonight let's go soccer so now we have just arrived at the stadium we're back at Kizar Stadium here. And also over there, there are the SF City supporters doing their tailgating. And we're just going to walk down through this path to get to our seats, which is over there where the red seats are. Right, guys, we got roughly about 25 minutes before the kickoff of this match. And just a little bit more information about this match. This is actually one of the newest derby in the PDL as this is only the first year that this derby actually exists because SF Glens is a newly expansion team in the PDL and this is actually only the second meeting between both of these teams. The first meeting SF City was able to beat SF Glens 2-1 and this is going to be the return leg of this year edition of the SF Derby so certainly SF Glens will trying to maybe get some revenge in this game and trying to get themselves a row win like what SF City did in the first edition of the SF Derby, but we'll see if they can do that tonight. And like I said, the kickoff begins in roughly about 25 minutes. So you can see both teams are now warming up on the pitch. There are the SF City doing their pre-game warm-up. There are the SF Glens player doing their pre-game warm-up. Both teams are heading to the center circle as the announcer in the background are announcing the starting 11 for both teams. And the referee gets this match underway. SF City wearing their usual yellow and black kit going from left to right while SF Glens will be wearing their white and green kit going from right to left as we are underway here at Keyser Stadium and so is a supporter over there. Glens gave the ball away although now they have gave the ball away and here comes an ambitious effort that is just over there. Well, I'll tell you what the keeper had to be called into action there. He wasn't expect that one to be on target but does put it behind and this is the first quarter of the game for SF City. So for people that don't understand why the North Sider chant that is because over there there's that one lonely SF Glance supporter supporting the team. Here comes the Glens again and they're trying to get a shot off which they did and I think that one hit the post and the flag went up immediately as it looks like there was a offside there. I'm not sure if it was because of the rebound or was that player that shot that ball was actually offside but it's going to be a free kick coming up. So that player is looking for option here as he's trying to cross this one. So Decent cross, still a chance to potentially score this first goal and it's clear the way. Oh, and it is just wide there and it's gonna be a goal cake. Oh, and 
That's a little nice ball. Can he try to get it in? And it is saved by the keeper there as that was a good little one-two touch there. Played around the edge of the 18-yard box and the keeper had to be called to action. It is going to be a corner coming up. into stoppage time here. Not quite sure how many minutes we're gonna get or if we're gonna get any minute of stoppage. Not quite sure if the referee just gonna blow his whistle as this ball gets back into the hill. And indeed he does and it is a scoreless game here at halftime in this SF Derby between SF Glens versus SF City. Right guys, it is halftime here at the iconic Kizar Stadium in this SF Derby and it is a scoreless draw at halftime between SF Glens versus SF City and I'll tell you what, for the first 15 minutes, this game was very, very entertaining. I mean, SF City had a couple of chances to potentially put the ball into the back of the net but unfortunately they weren't able to take those chances and I think overall SF City kind of are the better team as they kind of had the more of the chance here in the first half. SF Glens had a couple of half chances but as of now it is still a nil nil draw and hopefully heading into the second half we might potentially will see a goal in this game. Certainly SF City looked like the one that potentially can score that goal in the second half but you never know. SF Glens may be coming out looking a little bit better here in the second half but yeah second half should be kicking off in about 15 minutes. It's all to play for here in the second half for this SF Derby. And the referee gets the second half underway. It's all to play for here in the second half in the SF Derby between SF Glens and SF City. Here comes SF Glens on the attack. Gonna try to play this little long ball here. Can that player get to it? He does. And here's a chance for SF Glens to get that first goal in. Well, that was an absolute horrendous shot there. And he definitely had the chance to put that into the back of the net, but instead it is going to be a goal kick for SF City as that player basically got his technique all wrong on that shot. Here comes a free kick for SF Lens here. Let's see if he's going to shoot this or cross this one in. He's going to cross this one in and the keeper punch it away. It's only halfway clear from SF City as the ball once again delivered into the box. It's a missed clearance and it is going to be a goal kick as that one hit the upright. Here comes SF Lens looking to try to attack and certainly this is something we saw in the first part of the first half. Just this exciting football and this could be a chance for SF Glens and it's saved by the keeper. What a save by the goalkeeper as that SF Glens player was through there. So we play roughly about 20 minutes in this game and it is still a scoreless game between SF Glens and SF City. And I'll tell you what, SF Glens has definitely been the better team here in the second half. It looked like kind of a reverse role by both of these teams as it's been SF Glens themselves had majority of the chances here in the second half. But certainly there is still a chance for SF City to potentially score a goal and actually there's still a chance for both teams to potentially score a goal here in the second half as we got roughly about 25 minutes to go here in the second half. Here comes a corner for SF City and certainly an ensuing corner here down to the last 15 minutes. This is a good little corner. It's off the post. SF City still has a chance here, but that's going to go behind, and it's another corner coming up as that ball was smashed into the post. And SF City almost got that first goal, and City is forcing the issue here. They're looking to try to get this first goal. And ran into a brick wall there. 
But SF City still have a chance here, and that one is going to be over, and it's going to be a goal kick for SF Glens. And this is going to be thrown into the box here for SF Glens. It's a nice little delivery, but it's been cleared away from there. But the ball is delivered back into the box. It's saving. Did the ref point to the spot? He does. The ref points to the spot. It's a penalty for SF Glens. Well, the SF City players are absolutely fuming, but it is penalty coming up for the Glens and a chance to take the lead with six minutes to go in this match. Here it is. Here comes a chance for SF Glens to take the lead in this SF Derby. Or can the SF City goalkeeper come up big in this game? Here it is. It's in the back of the net, and SF Glens takes the lead here. It is 1-0 here. The supporters for SF Glens are going absolutely nuts. The player on the bench are also going nuts. And it is a 1-0 lead for SF Glens, and Glens player actually even celebrated in front of the SF City supporter, which I don't think that was a great idea, but we finally have the breakthrough here in this game. It's one nothing SF Glens. But here comes the delivery. Yellow card on the Glens number a deep 10. Kind of delivery. And it's almost in the back of the net. As that goalkeeper is jumping up. I think that goalkeeper would have probably got to that one, but certainly not a bad try by the SF City goalkeeper there. So here it is. The ensuing corner, corner delivery in. It's gonna be right back to the player that took the corner. Here comes the second cross, clear the way. And there is the full time whistle. SF Glance has won this derby, one nothing. The only difference in this game was the penalty in the 84th minute. And the final score in this game, SF Glens won, SF City nothing. And you can see there's the SF Glens player thanking their traveling supporter there. So they won the SF Derby, their first SF Derby win. Those SF City player will be going down to the north sider over there. And there it is. There's the SF City player high flying their supporter. Well, it definitely must be awkward for them to high flying them after losing a derby, but so you got to give a hats off to the SF City supporter and the north side are still singing despite losing this derby right guys it is all over in this sf derby and as you can see the north sider is still singing in the background but in the end it was sf glens able to get that one nothing win against sf city after they won a penalty in the 84th minute and certainly i think in the second half it was a very kind of even game sf city had a couple of chances of their own they even hit the post once and then sf glens themselves also had a couple of chances and there was also a couple of big save by the sf city goalkeeper to able to keep his side in the game but yeah either way guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash that subscribe button and yeah i of course will see you guys next time for another episode of the sports hop series